guys and welcome to Roll Slow Gaming. Um, here is something different to hear on this channel. Today I will speak a little bit about how to increase the FPS in Satisfactory. I know you're all hyped about this game and so I am um, I, but sure, there are some of you that want higher FPS that have maybe not the best computer or you just want it to flow a little better. I got a decent decent computer so I don't really have that problem that much. Here you see uh, me running uh, unoptimized uh, on uh, the maximum settings here and I got around 70 to 80 FPS and we'll go through all the different fi uh, fixes and tricks and tips you can use to improve your FPS very easily. So we cover uh, six different topics and a few of them uh, is very easy to do and uh, a few of them are a little bit more tech savvy and some will um, change your graphics a little bit and sort of things like that but uh, do check the entire video to get all of the tips and everything and also if you do enjoy the content here do leave a like it will really mean a lot actually and help my channel so uh, with that said, also hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. But we'll get into uh, the different subjects we have here to improve uh, the performance. The first one is of course using the in-game menu here uh, for the graphics options. So let's go through that first. So we'll go to options here and to video and uh, you can have this is the options you have here in the game. Uh, I think there probably is some sort of uh, config file for even uh, more uh, configurations, uh, but for uh, this purpose we'll only uh, do these ones. So for texture quality it's quite a big one and that will uh, affect uh, each single uh, graphic that are in, in the game uh, which level they are shown at so that's quite a heavy one and uh, uh, lowering that will help your uh, fps quite good and the same thing with the shadow uh, especially if you have a little bit older computer shadow is something that can be very very heavy uh, anti aliasing is uh, probably not going to do that much effect uh, foliage quality and view distance will definitely do so though and field of view as well and also what you could do of course if you don't want to change these settings is to just change the resolution but anyway we'll just lower everything to the lowest setting and I'm sure the game will look a little bit worse uh, but uh, the game is still very very good to view here so we'll actually leave the field view at uh, the same level here first and you can see the changes here so after that we are now at uh, 100 105 110 and uh, the game still looks pretty darn good i'd say sure it's a little bit blockier and uh, things like that but it's still a pretty game so uh, if you this means you can play it do by all means do these settings and also let's do that last option there we had as well so we'll change the field of view here down to 60 and i think that will help quite a bit as well so actually that didn't change anything really at all uh, that's more just how uh, how wide you see it really so this for me just feels like a zoomed in version of what we just have so let's actually switch back to uh, 120 of field of view and um, we'll actually do something like this we'll switch to 720p i am in uh, a window mode on the game at the moment so you can see it uh, as a window here uh, on my screen so we'll just enter back here uh, and here you see for me this uh, are bottoming out here uh, so for me the bottleneck here is probably the cpu or something that means that the game won't really go higher than this no matter what settings i use so i'm still at 110 or around that level 
so for me uh, one thing that could be good if I just want to get a higher FPS is maybe to ultra on all the settings here and just lower my uh, resolution sure now we've got a giant alien here <laughs> Uh, that are taking a few more FPS, but as you see here, I'm now at 95 to 100 FPS. Uh, so the graphic is now the bottleneck here, just uh, not the CPU. Uh, but as you see here, the game now looks great, and we have gained uh, over or over uh, 25 FPS and. Uh, around 33% in performance or in frames uh, by just changing the resolution and I think the game still looks great and um, if you are running the game in uh, full screen changing the resolution will do uh, around the same result for you so that's the first thing to go through the in-game settings and after that we'll do a few more tweaks here in our desktop and uh, we'll see how much we can improve the FPS further more here. So let's switch here to this PC. And we'll actually search, search here for power settings. So make sure to uh, have uh, our uh, PC going in uh, the best mode here. So we'll go to power and sleep and then you go to additional power settings. And if you haven't uh, have it on uh, the preferred plans is balanced and which is usually uh, your standard settings I actually have changed this all already uh, so you uh, gotta press this button button to show additional plans uh, usually you have uh, preferred plans it's the balanced one or power saver one so usually you find high performance here below this arrow so you gotta press it to change it but anyway I had changed it already so I will not do that and the next thing to do here is on this PC press properties and advanced system settings and then you press settings again and you choose this one adjust for best performance uh, so you don't really care about the options here, but basically it uh, makes Windows itself uh, a little bit more smooth, so to say. So we'll apply that. And that should help us a little bit here uh, to run the game smoother. So close this and here is a little bit about my computer if you uh, want to know what system I'm running. And we'll go to the next option here which is uh, checking your temp directory. So you press folder and you basically select and just delete it so this is all unnecessary files that your computer are having uh, on your disk which takes a little bit of uh, use of the computer and everything like that and most uh, probably you're going to get a few files and uh, ma maps that are used and you just uh, try to do that on all of those uh, but it will probably not work so you got to skip them but that's all right you have cleared up uh, your setting and settings nonetheless and also here on the bottom screen here uh, some uh, some of you might not know this but you can right click and this bar and then you can go to the task manager here and we have quite a few processes running here, uh, satisfactory, which are taking most of our CPU. But you can see what is taking the CPU, CPU power. So actually, I 
I'm using Edge. I know it's uh, not the best uh, browser, but I kind of like it. So I have that taking uh, quite a lot of CPU as well. And if you were checking memory, we have that as well. So it's actually Edge taking most, and then we have Satisfactory, and also we have Google Chrome, which I have opened with a few windows are taking pretty much power so actually we should maybe uh, close them all down and we'll do that in the end just click satisfactory here and go to details and once you are have done that you will have then end up in details here in the task manager we'll right click the exe file which is factory game win64 shipping and we'll to set priori priority and we'll set it to high here and we'll change priority which basically means it will prioritize the game and that way uh, give more power to it uh, other than our uh, uh, web browsers and so on so welcome back we have done all the changes in the desktop and everything updated everything and things like that to improve our performance on the highest settings and as you see here we are now at around 85 fps uh, which we were at 75 last time around so we have gained around 10 frames per second and 15 percent in performance or uh, similar just by enabling the options that we Gone, gone through here in this video and also updated our drivers to the latest, latest version uh, so keep that in mind that is several ways here to boost your fps so you can get to a playable level or just to get yeah to get a smoother experience really and uh, yeah so that's basically it you uh, up update your drivers on your graphics card you set your uh, computer to best performance in both the power settings and uh, the device manager and uh, also you uh, check of course and put correct settings in the game for just your computer if you're on a weaker computer you do lower settings and things like that of course but you try just try out what works best for you uh, but uh, yeah that will be everything for this episode so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time and leave a like and subscribe if you liked this content thank you very much and bye bye